I, I, I just cannot think what I should wear to testify. Shouldn't you be thinking about what you want to say? No, no, because if I think about what I'm going to wear, then I don't have to think about whether I'm going to use that photo, that ridiculous fake photo of Scott in the Cayman Islands or not. Lucy, for the last time, you can't perjure yourself. Well, Doctor, if I use the photo and Rex thinks I'm playing along with him, then maybe, just maybe I'll get a chance to take a, a look at those passports I found, you know, the ones that I saw in that locked gold box. This is becoming too big of a risk. Do you think Lucy will really testify against Baldwin? She has to. If she doesn't, I'll know she's lying. She wants to convince me that this isn't a setup. So we'll just see how far she's willing to go. Well, so far, they've shown no direct evidence linking you to the kidnapping. So far? Yeah. Worried about Lucy, though. Why is that? I don't like the idea of her being on the stand. I mean, yeah, she's a wild card. She is a wild card, but she loves Serena. So let's just hope for the best, huh? I'd rather know what she's going to say. suppose I do not find any evidence on Rex, then I'll, I'll just come forward and I'll say that I perjured myself and then Lee can demand a mistrial? But then the judge doesn't have to declare a mistrial. And once he finds out that you've perjured yourself, I'm sure he'd be happy to throw you in jail. Okay, fine. Then I'm willing to go to jail if that means keeping Serena out of Rex's clutches. I don't want you to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail. But I'm not going. I'm not going to jail. Trust me. <sighs> Weren't you taking those stress pills? Uh, no. Are you kidding? Even if my chemist did say they were safe and fine, Rex gave them to me. I'm not about to take them. I'm just switching a little vitamin C for these pills. You know, I figure I'll just keep humoring Rex because he'll get sloppy if he thinks he's winning. How can you be so sure? Because he's not used to losing. I just spoke to my mother on the phone. She said the social services came to interview her. You called in the child welfare cops? Yeah, Lark, we're required to by law in any case that might involve abuse. You, you have no idea what goes on in my house. My mother is not abusive, so just leave us alone. Okay, all right, Lark. If I'm wrong, then you tell me what's going Are on. Are you deaf? Nothing! Alice needed some pre-op tests. The nurse should be finished in a few minutes. Um, I was looking for you anyway. I'm in no mood to be your punching bag today, Winston. Ellen, I never would have said those things if I had known your husband had died. You only bad mouth the living. Well, that's comforting. I'll bet you'll even have a good word for me after I'm gone. How did Sam die? I'm not going into that. Don't shut me out. It was bad enough when you ran out on us all those years ago. I'm not going to let that happen again. Ran out? I didn't run out on you. Mother threw me out because I wanted to marry Sam. She wanted you to come to your senses. You see that woman through rose-colored glasses. Don't come around here trying to convince me she's a saint. I'm not saying everything she does is right. But, Ellen, she might die. We're all going to die, Winston. Sam did. Dr. Burgess? Uh, I need some advice on a cardio. Can I talk to you in your office? Yes, sure. I'm going down to her room. Please, please fix this. If not for her, for yourself. See, I see you haven't changed your mind about testifying against Scott. 
Well, that's what subpoenas are for. They don't let you change your mind. Being called to the stand is one thing. What you say while you're up there is an entirely different matter. I plan on doing the right thing. The court is ready to reconvene. Uh, excuse me. Good luck. Miss Coe, as an old friend of the defendant, you've been witness to his actions on many occasions, yes? What would be many? You've seen him high on drugs, haven't you? Objection. Your Honor, Miss Coe has been present when the defendant was on hallucinogens. This woman knows nothing about my client's physical health, let alone whether or not he ever took drugs. Rephrase the question. Certainly, Your Honor. You helped Mr. Baldwin during an episode of aberrant behavior. Is that correct? Yes. Please tell the court how he appeared that night. He was very sick. He needed medical attention. Was he incoherent? At times. And what else? He was seeing things. Hallucinating. Something like that. Did you find anything when you went to Lark's house to explain why she's getting banged up? We found a mother at home who may have lost track of her daughter. But there was no sign of abuse. Well, maybe she has a boyfriend. Maybe the mother has a boyfriend. We all want Lark safe. Lark's mother has had some problems in the past, but you have to leave the investigation to me. So what kind of problems? I, I can't discuss the family's case history with you. It would be a breach of confidentiality. I'm Lark's teacher. I understand. But there is no proof that those injuries were received at home. What about spending the night at Mario's? I mean, isn't that something? According to her, she forgot her keys and her mother was out. Okay, and you believe this? I'm going to keep a very close eye on that house. If there is any real evidence of abuse, I'll intervene. Until that time, it's our policy to try to keep the families together. Okay. I know you're concerned about it. I know that social worker. He's doing all the right moves. Yeah, but, but uh, something's missing. Yeah. I can't help but feel that something's wrong. You know? And I don't want to just drop this. As Lark's teacher, I think it's time for a home visit. Thank you. When you brought Mr. Baldwin to the hospital, you didn't know what was wrong with him? No. In your opinion, did he appear to be on drugs? Objection. She's not a doctor. Your Honor, Ms. Coe has already testified that Mr. Baldwin said he was hallucinating. No, sir, you said he was hallucinating. She said, quote, something like that. Objection sustained. When he was in this condition, you took him to the hospital? Well, yes. Why? Why? Because something appeared to be wrong with him. I mean, he was acting a little strange. It was like he was... I don't know, drunk or something. Or something. Mr. Prosecutor, are you at a convenient stopping point? Yes, Your Honor. Five minute recess. They've scheduled your surgery, and Dr. Quartermain will come in and go over all the details with you. Can I ask that Dr. Burgess not insist? Um, well, actually, Dr. Burgess works in the emergency room. She's not a surgeon. I don't want her staring at me from some observation deck, either. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll tell Dr. Quartermain. <laughs> you think I'm being too hard on her? Well, no, um... Mothers and daughters can, well, they can really lock horns, you know, ask my mother. But in the end, we still get along. You're lucky. I hope it always stays that way. Hey, 
Everything's gonna be fine. Dr. Quartermain is the best. And Dr. Harmon, well, he's, he's truly gifted. Didn't I see you with Matt at Karen's divorce party? What do you mean? <laughs> Don't be shy. I can see when there's something going on between a man and a woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, well, we do like to spend time together, but um, it's not serious. Maybe it should be. Okay, well, um, I think I'm all through here. That is, unless you need anything. Not a thing, sweetie. Huh? Don't let him get away. Matt would be the perfect catch for the right one. Oh, you know, that is just like her. Telling Winston that I ran out on the family. I didn't run out. She threw me out because I wanted to marry a man she didn't like. Why didn't she like him? Didn't have a college education. Mm. Blue collar, worked at the docks. We tried to get her to see his good points. All she saw were faults. Parents can be uh, very judgmental. She never saw what he did. He was kind and, and decent. It, he just hadn't paid much attention to education. Until one day, some men that he worked with asked him to read a, a union contract they were drawing up. Mm -hmm. It was like he had been struck by lightning. I mean, he suddenly discovered what he wanted to do with his life. He started reading old case books that he found at the library. I mean, anything about the law. Yeah. And when he took his LSAT test, he scored really high. Well, Alice still didn't like the guy? She hated him even more. Because I dropped out of med school to help support him while he got his degree. Mm. She thought that he was making me do that, but it was my choice. What, did you tell her that? She said that I was stupid for letting a man trick me into supporting him. I told her that it was the only break Sam had gotten in his whole life. And I wanted to make sure that he took advantage of it. So she gave me an ultimatum. Leave Sam or leave the family. Sam was accepted at Columbia. So we left. And you two stayed angry at each other this whole time, right? It was more than anger. It was hurt. That my own mother did that to me. H how did he die? Cerebral hemorrhage. One minute we were walking down the street and the next minute... he was on the ground. I called my mother that night from the hospital and when she heard my voice she said I want you to listen very carefully and then she hung up <laughs> I loved him alone and I buried him alone So far, so good. Well, that's what the guy who jumped off the ten-story building said halfway down. Well, let's just be glad that Lucy hasn't used all the evidence she has on you. She could be the one that pushes you over. You did an excellent job in there. Well, I simply told the truth. Nonetheless, it must have been very stressful for you. Yes, extremely, but I do have those stress pills you gave me. I'll get you some water. Oh, no, thank you. Um, I, I don't really, really need any. Well, take one of those. You'll be feeling better in no time. I hope so, because I have never been through anything more stressful in my entire life. Don't you have Thanks. lives to save, Doctor? In a minute. You okay? Much better. I've never told anyone about all of that. It's a lot to keep bottled up. All of the medical jobs that I was offered to finish my training, I had to come to the hospital in the town where my mother lived. 
Maybe it was fate that brought you here so you two could make up? I don't want to reestablish a relationship with her. And she's certainly not interested in making up with me. How do you know? Did you ask her? I don't have to. Mm. Well, maybe you're right, but... I just hate seeing you like this. Oh, don't worry. I'll be my old armadillo hide in no time. <laughs> Wow. The whole army's here. Can I get you anything? No, thank you. No, we didn't mean to barge in like this. We oh, just I, uh, I want to thank you again for letting Lark stay with you when she misplaced her keys. We were glad we could help. Mrs. Madison, Lark's come to the hospital two times now. Do you know why? She's accident prone. <laughs> Pure and simple. Has been since she was a little baby. Really? How so? Uh, falling down, cutting herself. She's just clumsy. Does she have a boyfriend? No. <laughs> I wish she did. What about her friends? What are they like? They're okay. Typical teenagers. So you think she gets hurt just because she's clumsy? Yes, I do. Look, it's very generous of all of you to take the time to come over here, and I appreciate your concern, but I, I don't think there's anything else I can tell you. Okay. Um, here's my card. If you have anything that you can think of, just... Give me a call at the hospital, okay? <gasps> Look at that. What is wrong with you? Why did you do this to me? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Are you okay? You didn't mean to! Come on, let the evil into my body. Okay. You damn lark. She got you to come over here so you could put the evil in me, didn't she? Can, can we get you something? Lie! Lie! Calm you down. get we out of here! You get out of here! I'm here to hurt you. Mrs. Madison, calm down. Get We're out. leaving. Get out. Get out. I can bash your head. Right, right, right. I can cut you. How'd you like to be cut? All of you! Can you believe that? Who are you calling? The social worker. Yeah, this is Frank Scanlon. I spoke to you earlier. Lark, that's right. We are at her house. Her mother is throwing a fit. Big time psychosis. You need to get down here now. He's on his way. So you traveled to the Cayman Islands? Yes. Why? I wanted to prove that Scott Baldwin had not um, stashed the money in a secret account there. And what did you find? I found that he had opened a bank account there. Objection, Your Honor. Anyone can open a bank account. Counsel is on a fishing expedition. Well, actually, I'm getting to that, Your Honor. Objection overruled. Continue. What are they up to? I don't know. Did you find evidence that Mr. Baldwin was in the Cayman Islands at the same time this bank account was opened? Objection, Your Honor. How can they establish a time uh, when they haven't even proven he was in the Cayman Islands in the first place? Overruled. Miss Cole, you may answer the question. Yes, I did find proof that he was there. I was never in the Cayman Islands. Ms. Coe, is this photograph the proof that you're referring to? Yes. Would you please describe this to the court? Yes, it's a photograph of Scott and the president of the Bank of the Cayman Islands together on a fishing expedition. Is the photograph dated? Yes, the camera imprinted the date right here. Your Honor, I would like to admit into evidence Exhibit D, the photograph of Scott Baldwin in the Cayman Islands. I was never in the Cayman Islands! That's yeah. a lie! Sit down. Right? That's a lie! Now! Please. Your witness. You lied to the FBI about the ransom drop, didn't you? Well, I was just... Just yes or no? Did you lie to the FBI? Yes. And you are a convicted perjurer, are you not? Well, I think that's overstating the matter. In the O'Connor murder case, you lied, didn't you? Yes or no? Yes, And you that... were convicted of perjury? Yes, it was a long time yes ago. Yes or no? 
Yes, but I am telling the truth this time. So you are asking us to take the word of a convicted perjurer and a habitual liar because this time you're telling the truth? Your Honor, I am outraged that the prosecution would stoop to putting a witness like this on the stand to discredit my client. No more questions for you. All right, you did a good job on her. Now put me on the stand. Tonight, the new year means all new episodes. New Year's Eve comes a little late on Spin City, followed by Dharma and Greg. Then after Drew Carey, love is in the air on Ellen. ABC Tonight.